mother? It's time for you to return to Tokyo, Kamui. You've been chosen by fate to fight for the city. I know. I'm dreaming. Huh? It's the Earth, our world. I've returned to Tokyo, Mother. What am I waiting for? You will find allies to help you fulfill your appointed task. You will meet deadly enemies. Put your faith in Hinato with the long white tresses, but not her sister, Kanoe. Sorata is wild but powerful, a trustworthy friend. Yuzuria Nekoi is the granddaughter of the Grand Master of the Mitsumine Shrine. She is always accompanied by Inuki, a phantom dog. She is the youngest member of the Dragon of the Heavens. Arashi is a quiet, brave maiden of the Isa Shrine. She possesses all the Shrine's spiritual powers and is its final guardian. Beware Satsuki Yachi, beloved of the beast, the giant computer through which all other computer systems in the world can be accessed. The 
gentle Aoki and Karen, a club stripper, are both members of the Dragon of Heaven and dedicated to the protection of Tokyo. Kamui has returned to Tokyo. So I understand. Then the final battle to decide the fate of the Earth is about to begin. An impressive power shield, but is it necessary? Our enmity is entirely personal in nature. Precisely. I have no desire to kill innocent bystanders, only you. They will have to find their own salvation when the main battle commences. Hmm. The dragon of the heavens that you represent will meet my dragons of the earth. But that is for the future. This is a fight to the death between two personal foes. It's dissolving. And now the overture is behind us, Kamui. The two dragons have consumed each other, leaving the battlefield ready. Remember my name, Kamui. I am Shugo Asagi. I had a dream last night about Kamui. It's six years since I last saw him, so I don't know what he looks like now. But I know it was him in my dream, grown up and good-looking. The strange thing is that there were two of him. What an odd dream it was. Unlike any dream I've ever had before. Are you listening to me, Fuma? Hmm? We miss him, don't we? Yes, even now, after all these years. You might have thought we'd forget him. It's getting late. I'll turn off the lights in the shrine. 
Hmm. I'll help you. It doesn't feel like six years. What? Since Camel, we went away. I'm ready. Ready, Coterie. Well, Satsuki, what's the answer? <laughs> what does the beast say? Is it him? Yes. My love whispered to me that it is Kamui, and that he is the one. This is the beginning, Ren. The beginning of the end. The beginning of the final battle. You come back. Be careful. <gasps> Camry, why won't you answer me? I'm your friend. Speak to me. You were shown to me in a vision, but how do you know my name? Kamui is the name given to the Promised One, 
The one who will determine the fate of the Earth. The fate of the Earth? How can that be true? I beg you, save our planet! Debris and rubble can't be all that's left of the city? No! Huh? What you're experiencing is a dream. A dream? We're traveling through a dream. We can watch, but that's all. We cannot change or influence the things that happen inside the dream. My name is Hinato. I am a dream watcher. My dreams foretell the future. A dream watcher? My role is to tell those who are prepared to listen the future that may lie in store. And this? This is the future you see for Tokyo? It is one possibility. I'm showing it to you because you have the power to prevent it. I feel nothing of such power. Tokyo. Tokyo as I know her now. What did I see? What did I dream? What you saw is the dragon of the Earth. Seven separate dragons that will awaken to destroy first Tokyo and then all the civilizations of the Earth. The only force that can resist the dragon of the Earth is the dragon of Heaven. These stars... The Big Dipper. The seven stars of the Big Dipper. They and they alone can create power shields to protect the Earth. the name. 
name my mother gave me. I don't know or care about its meaning. It means God's power. It is reserved for the one who will act on God's behalf. God's power? I don't understand. <sighs> I don't consider myself to be God's representative. I can't take on responsibility for the future of civilization. Can we? I didn't return to Tokyo as part of any grand design, but for simple reasons of my own. But you can't ignore the city's fate. I won't take responsibility for it. The power I have is to protect my friends. Please, can we? Think again. Will you let the Earth perish though you have it within your power to prevent that? Fuma! Fuma! What's the matter? Nothing. Princess Hinato. Princess, are you all right? What can you tell us? Can we? So, that boy really is Kamui. You are... Can we, aren't you? Yes. Uh... Is everything okay with you? Yes, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Wonderful to see you. I'm not so sure I really believe there was a Kamui. I couldn't imagine one boy having so much power that one person could possibly have the fate of the world in his hands. Yes, I know. I used to think that Kamui was some sort of mystic idea rather than a specific human being. Did you imagine it as some kind of an inhuman elemental abstract force? No. It could not have been that. Only a man could determine the fate of mankind. Mother ordered me to come back. Why didn't she come with you, can we? She's dead. So, we've all come. All seven of the Dragon of Heaven in Tokyo together. One member isn't with us anymore. What? We have lost Subaru, the leader of the Kimuragi clan. He died fighting a sorcerer of the Dragon of the Earth. And his shield? Yes. One of the power shields protecting Tokyo was destroyed with him. You, Sorita Arasugawa of the Holikoya Mountain. You, Arashikishu of the Isa Shrine. Yuzuriha Nekoi of the Mitsumini Shrine. Karen Katsumi. And Seichiro Aoki. It falls to you to protect Kamui from the Dragon of the Earth. Hurry! It's starting. The merciless war that will decide the future of our planet. What do you mean? Years ago, when you left Tokyo, you told me that when you returned, it'd be to protect Kotori. When we asked you what you meant by that, you weren't able to explain it. You've come back, but we still don't know what you're expecting to happen that'll fulfill the prophecy that you could foretell when the three of us were still kids. But Kamui, as you have dedicated yourself to Coterie's protection, so I dedicate myself to yours. The end of the world is approaching. I'm not afraid. Just deeply, deeply sad. Is there something you would give your life to preserve? Is there someone you'd give your life to protect? Kotori and Fuma. Good. And you, Mother. I wouldn't hesitate to sacrifice my life for you as well. Yes, I know that. But I also know that it's my destiny, which I can't escape, to die soon. Your destiny? 
The future that is preordained and that all of us have to accept. I won't accept it. How can the future be already decided? It lies in our own hands. Not entirely. It takes strength of a very particular kind to change things. And if you are to protect Kotori and Fuma, you'll have to look deep into yourself to find that power, as well as the control to use it to accomplish the things you want to do. It's raining. Ow! Huh? You're hurt. There could be danger, so keep back. My name is Nataku. Is this rain that cuts our bodies your doing? No, it's mine. I am Shugo Asagi. Don't I know him? I have mastered all the vagaries of water. Please come with us. We've been sent to escort you. Escort me where? Come with us and find out. What will you do if I refuse? We have to help him. I've been given my orders and your refusal plays no part in them. That's a pity. Oh, how did I know there'd be complications? good, can we? However, I'm only just beginning to flex my muscles. It was not my intention to hurt you, but you left me no choice, as you won't cooperate freely. Well, hey there! Don't you just hate it when you see two beating up on one? I agree, it's not very gentlemanly. Though I've no objection to you two taking your chances against us five. You see, it's fine when the numbers are on my side. Doesn't sound fair to me. You'll understand when you're a little older. Well, I'm a lot older, and I know that it isn't fair. But that's just how it goes. One little thing, Sorita. We don't want to disturb all the good people in this neighborhood trying to get some sleep. That's very thoughtful, Arashi. Yes, indeedy, babe. Babe? Yep, just love them manners. I'm gonna kill him. Yes, that's very dramatic, but I'm not sure how useful it is. 
Oh, sure, the shield will put the area within it into another dimension. And then, any damage occurring within the shield will not be replicated in the real world. Big deal. Don't forget, if the creator of that power shield's killed, which he could be at any time, drowned for argument's sake, then the power of the shield will be nullified, and the full force of the damage will be felt. Well, that's the theory. I've seen it with my own eyes. A dragon of the heavens died, and its shield crumbled. Let me show you how it was. That's a neat trick he's got there. Hey, it's no better than tricks I've seen you play. Hmm? Listen, old buddy, we're here to have a word with Kamui as well. So why don't you two just butt out? Hey, is this a high wire? Sorry, but you haven't got a monopoly on rain, you know. <laughs> Rotary! Ah. Fuma! Rotary! Where are Fuma and Kotori? What have you done with them? <sighs> Take it easy, you got it wrong. Where are Fuma and Kotori? Give them back! Right now! You okay? Yeah, I should just about survive, I guess. What happened to those guys and their magic tricks? One look at you and they realized they wouldn't stand a chance, so they made a run for it. <laughs> Obviously, they weren't that stupid after all. I, oh, oh, you know, Kamui's really got some power there. His name means power of God. Wait, Kamui. Don't blame us for your friend's disappearance. We had no part in kidnapping them. I suspect it was the work of the Dragon of the Earth. Join with us. We are your allies. You are here to save the city. That is our objective as well. Come to me, pretty girl. Kamui's beloved, you will bring your lover here to me so that I shall know his future. <laughs> Whose dream is this? 
Is that the future? <gasps> Fuma, do you come uninvited to share this dream? Or are you the lover Kotori summoned? What have you done with Kotori? <gasps> Where have you... Taken her, bring her back again. Did you... Hear what I... Said? Where is she? What have you... Done with her? So I have found him. The Kamui who'll defeat Kamui. His twin star. His other being. No matter which dragon Kamui becomes, Kamui will always be there to counterbalance what Kamui does, won't he, Kamui? <laughs> uh -huh. Tokyo. This is Tokyo. But how? What am I doing here? A minute ago, I was standing at the Togakushi Shrine. Haven't you guessed? You're dreaming. Dreaming? But it's no ordinary dream. You may be seeing the future. We don't dream certainties, but possibilities. And this might be the future. I am called Kanoi. Blessed or cursed with the prophetic vision of the Dream Watcher. Dream Watcher? It's not my role to dream dreams of my own, but I slip surreptitiously into the dreams of others and force them to recognize what they may not wish to confront. Is this what Tokyo will become? Yes. The city has grown stagnant and foul. The slime will gradually cover everything, unless a thorough cleansing can lead to a revival. Horrible. But why is that one building still standing? There's nothing to be afraid of. That dragon is one of us. In fact, it might even be you. The dragon of the Earth. It alone can destroy the corrupted power shield of Tokyo and cleanse the Earth with fire. It's terrifying. The power shields that protect Tokyo have become central to the stability of the whole world. Many shields make up the city's umbrella. The skyscrapers of Shinjuku are the blinding beacon of the night. The tracks of the Yamanote rail line are the Buddha's hand enclosing the Imperial Palace in its grasp. The Sunshine 60 building is a focus of security on Tokyo's shifting ground. And then there's... the Tokyo Tower. If all these shields, these defenses against outside forces are destroyed, Tokyo will fall. These obscenities that man has created, the corruption, the pollution, all these will be annihilated. Nature will reclaim its dominion, the earth will breathe again. But first must come the apocalypse. And only the dragon of heaven can prevent it.
You are possessed of the same power as Kamui. You are his twin star. Kamui will decide which dragon he becomes. You will choose the other side to oppose him. If he is the one, then you are the other. <sighs> <sighs> Yes, Fuma, it is only a dream. Perhaps. But it is also the future. Perhaps. The Earth is dying. This time I do not say perhaps. It has been violated once too often. It has no strength left. No strength to resurrect itself and assume its former glory. If mankind is sacrificed now, then the planet needn't die. You've got the power to save the Earth by making man pay the price. I've got no power of the kind that you speak of. You can't make me take responsibility for the planet. I've got no power and want none. You have it. You're not aware of it, that's all. Oh! Huh? She couldn't endure the anguish of the dream I guided her through. Oh, don't worry. She's sleeping deeply now beyond the reach of her dream. Nor will Kamui be able to reach her. Kamui? Yes, Kamui. Who will do the will of God on Earth, but there is another who has the power to defeat him. Who will put the Earth before everything. That is you. Join the dragon of the Earth. Join us in destroying Tokyo's power shields as a first step to saving the Earth. And saving Kotori as well, your sister and your love. Kanaway, I'm not going to let you kill my... <gasps> my sister. Will you not? That will be for you to decide. I've been waiting for you. I cannot speak, I cannot see, I cannot hear. But I can reach you through your mind, if you will allow me to. Come.
I have dreamed of you before. This time I have conjured you into my dream. Forgive me. Hinata lives in the basement of the Diet Building because she advises the members of the government on what the future might bring. The final battle has already begun, Kanri. The opposing forces are gathering for the onslaught. Our purpose is to save Tokyo and the whole Earth from destruction. Join with us, can we? I returned for one reason only. I made that clear to you the last time you communicated with me. To protect the girl and her brother at the Togakushi Shrine. Yes. How do you know that? When we passed through the previous dream we shared, you showed them to me. But you've forgotten. You may love those two, but you cannot isolate them. No, come, we no. don't! Stay there! Was it you who caused Fuma and Kotori to disappear? No, not I. Who was it then? Kanoe. My sister. Your sister? I don't understand. Kanoe is my younger sister. She can travel through dreams exactly as I do. And now, she is mobilizing the Dragon of the Earth to destroy the planet. The Dragon of the Earth? Which I've seen in my dream? Understand this. Whether you desire it or not, your role in the final battle is crucial. Give me your hand, can we? See your future. me are you saying i'm destined to kill her it does not have to be so if you will become a dragon of heaven huh? your dreams are nightmares for a long time i thought the way you seem to be thinking now the future of the earth was outside my influence and the thought that it was threatened with annihilation was beyond believing anyway I'd been given certain powers. Powers of the flame. Powers which I didn't want. And which I certainly didn't understand or value. I went to work in brothels where no one asks questions. Tokyo may be a terrible city, but I love it. I won't simply let it be destroyed. Look, I wouldn't pretend Tokyo or the rest of the world, for that matter, is an easy place to love. But in fact, my kids have never experienced what was around when I was young and are perfectly content with what's on offer now to them. Can't argue with that. This computer, affectionately known as The Beast, is Satsuki's creation. There's no network it cannot break into, no information it cannot access. Satsuki understandably loves her creation, but bizarrely, and at this point I find my own concept of the rationale separating quite sharply from hers, she claims the computer returns her love with equal passion. 
and sinks into sullen fits of jealousy if her mind wanders as far as a chess problem or Fermat's last theorem. You're surprised. I understand that. Who would dream that a complex like this could exist under Tokyo's central government building? Who could dream that? Isn't it beautiful? Not Tokyo in concrete, but Tokyo in glass. Look at this holograph and you'll see what's in store for the city. Tokyo Station. It'll be destroyed. <gasps> what have you seen in your mind? Tokyo Station. That's where it will start. Strong, Camille. Fuma and Kotaru will rely on your protection someday. You have the power. Do not fail to use it to protect those you love. You've got the power, Camille. But how to use it? That's up to you, buddy boy. What are you gonna do? Well, Karen, this one's ours, I think. Yes. Stay here, Yuzuria. What? I don't want you to come into the station. Why? It's not impossible that we'll run into trouble in there, and I want to know someone will tell the others about it. I want to go in there with you. They won't need me to report on what's going to be pretty obvious, and anyway, Hinato would know without anybody having to tell her. There are many other power shields in the city that'll be threatened and will need protecting. You'll have to fight for them. You're a brave fighter, but you have to leave this one to us. Make certain that you stay outside my power shield.
Karen's shield collapsed. That means she's dead. Yes. And where is Aoki? What's happened to him? I wasn't able to find him anywhere. Then my own guess would be he found protection under some other power shield. Let's go! Look here! I'm going to fight as well this time! Uh... Kamui has returned to our building. So you have Kamui. Your Kamui. Kamui. So do you feel sure of victory? Suppose I were to tell you that I have Kamui. What do you mean? The other, who matches the Chosen One of God in every particular, whose destiny it is to oppose your Kamui to the death. The other? The irony is that the other turns out to be the Chosen One's closest childhood friend. More than that, even, your Kamui returned to Tokyo to protect him. Isn't it farcically sad that these two are destined to fight to the death? How could you, Kanoe? How could I? You think I'm heartless? You know better than to hold me responsible. If their fate is cruel, it originates elsewhere. You can stop it. You can stop the Dragon of the Earth destroying the Power Shield. But I won't. I have seen the possible alternative futures facing our planet, and I have chosen the goal. And you would destroy mankind to achieve it? Mankind. So vain and self-important. My eyes look far beyond the future of man. Can we? The battle has just begun, Hinato. Let's see whether the Chosen One can defeat the other. I shall enjoy the spectacle. What is your quarrel with me? The battle between our dragons is meaningless! How stupid and farcical your intention to destroy the Earth really is! We do not intend to destroy the Earth, and we will not do so. Only man. Man who kills, who hates, who rapes this planet. Why should he continue to exist? What the Earth needs is a period of tranquility. You may be right. I don't deny it. But my priority is that there are people I love and will protect. And there are those who have labored to raise man to something higher than the beasts. For their sake, I will fight. For their sake, I cannot let you live. shields does that leave? We could lose this war. Bulletin 
and 1095 from the beast. The Sunshine 60 power shield has been eliminated. The area over a 5 kilometer radius from the site has been totally destroyed. Bulletin 1096 from the beast. So Shiro Aoki of the Dragon of Heaven has been killed. Nadaku died heroically for our cause. What a glorious sunrise to a glorious day. <laughs> Romantic nonsense. So I am the other, huh? Who decided that? Just because Kanoe told me, does that make it so? Do dreams really tell us what may be? Coterie, where are you? I may become what? What does it mean to save the Earth from what? For what? For the scorpions and centipedes that survived the destruction of man? I came to Tokyo to protect the people I love, and I'll fight for them! Can we? Keep an eye on Yuzuria, will you? I'm not completely helpless. What do you see? A dragon of the earth. Huh? Ha! Is there something you want to ask me about or what? Hey, hold on! You saw my dog, you spoke to him, you even knelt and patted him! So what? That's the kind of guy I am. But only those playing a direct part in the apocalyptic battle have the power to see him. So what does that make me? You've got to be one of the dragons of the Earth. And you're a dragon of heaven. You can tell me where they've taken Cautery. <laughs> That's Yuzuria's power shield. So she's under attack. Yuzuria's just turned 14. She's nothing more than a kid. She's never been in love, hasn't started down her own road. It's tough. Maybe we should have told her to stay down with Hinoto. Going soft in your old age? <laughs> you think we could help her out? Bet we could. Let's go. Very similar to Kamui, but it isn't him. Oh. He's a dragon of the earth. Be careful. Yes. It's very strange. Why is he so like Kamui? Don't worry your pretty head about him. I'm here to keep you safe. It's my mission to look after you. 
You really are my type of girl, and so I don't find it that big a hardship. There must be hundreds of girls you've said that to. Only girls who can take care of themselves when the chips are down. But I like being a big, strong guy for you, Arashi. So just make the most of it. situation so stylishly, I thought it would be unesthetic to interfere. You're full of crap, you fairy. We're not playing a game. got control of the city's network of underground cables. Apparently, it's someone making modern art. He damn near burned me. I obviously wasn't paying attention. Buddy, can we talk man to man a minute? You're Camwee's friend, aren't you? Well, he's looking for you. Camwee. <laughs> You're me! Kids, time to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I wasn't much good to you, was I? I've never been in love as a woman can be in love 
I'd like to have known someone would cry when they buried me. Can we? Promise me that you'll fight to protect those you love. Fuma, are you all right? Let me take care of this. Fuma! So you have chosen your destiny as a dragon of heaven. When you made that choice, you chose for me as well. I am your companion son, complimenting all you do and are. So I am a dragon of the earth. Fuma, stop it! That means we fight until one of us dies. What we shared once means nothing beside what we'll be. Fuma! It is our inescapable destiny, Kamui. to the death, the friend you vowed to protect with your life. Take me to Coterie. I know it is within your power. <gasps> Take me through the maze which is my dream. Help me unravel it to find her. His. Have you forgotten the first sword? It belonged to the Dragon of Heaven, but you carry another sword, Coterie. Inside you. Which belongs to the Dragon of the Earth. I must take what's mine.
this way. Can we? Ah. Ah. Fuma. It's senseless. It killed Kusanagi on the roof, and now, uh, apparently, it's my turn. Why? We were allies. You're wrong. I don't remember allying myself with anyone. You understand what I'm telling you? You don't need help now! Are you working secretly with Kamui? You fool! I am Kamui! What is going on here? That boy is the other, the other Kamui. The dragon of the earth who dreams only of killing, who lives only to kill, whose goal is to strike down the dragon of heaven, to destroy Tokyo's power shields, to annihilate mankind. <gasps> The dragon of the earth has risen up! Hinoto, you have spent your whole life in this building, foretelling the future for the great and the good who run the government. You predicted 
that with Kamui as your ally, the shields that enclosed Tokyo and guarded against destruction could resist any attack. Oh. But you didn't reckon on the dragon of the earth. The dragon of heaven will be defeated and Tokyo's power shields destroyed. Why put your life at risk? You can't beat me. Your words have proved false. Your prophecy's empty. No one wants a dream watcher whose interpretations are so inaccurate. Wait and see, Kanoe. Waiting, I'm afraid, is one thing I have no time for. I wanted your gift to be respected. But instead, you've been treated like some freak in a fairground. If you have failed now, at least you'll be free. <laughs> Why did you have to try and save me? I told you, you're my type. Since I was born, I've known that it was my destiny to die fighting for the Dragon of Heaven. But I figured I'd prefer to die fighting for a beautiful woman instead. And you wouldn't believe it, but I was right. One bad thing, I wish I'd still be around to keep an eye on you, but I wouldn't be much use. <laughs> it's beginning to get a bit hard simply keeping my eyes open at all, even to look at you, babe. <laughs> One thing I never got around to asking was how you feel about me. Wish I'd asked, not that it matters anymore. <laughs> Sorry to... <laughs> There's nothing to stop you asking her now. Can we? All the members of the Dragon of Heaven are dead, except you. Fuma has killed them all. The Can we of the Earth has no memory of the past, no emotion, no feeling. All he has is the urge to annihilate the Dragon of Heaven and to destroy the power shield protecting Tokyo. to the Tokyo Tower, can we? The final shield. There you will play the drama to its conclusion. Have you forgotten me? Have you forgotten Kotari? That girl loved Kamui deeply, passionately, with all her heart. Inside her soul, she nourished a sword which she reserved for Kamui. 
And so I simply withdrew it. It meant she must die. Fuma! the only member of the Dragon of Heaven remaining. Your death will mark the end. Fuma! I return to Tokyo to protect you, not kill you. I don't want to fight you! Don't force me to do it! I am Kamui! This is my destiny! When you chose to become a dragon of heaven, it followed inevitably that I would become a dragon of the earth. You're Fuma! You're not me! Who's Fuma? Fuma is dead! We can't resist our destiny! We were destined to confront each other in battle today. And very, very soon, mankind will be wiped off the Earth. That has also been ordained. You're wrong. Mankind can direct its own destiny. You were Fuma. You promised me you'd come back to look after Coterie. And so I promised you that while you were busy doing that, I'd keep a brotherly eye on you. Only it didn't work out that way. Why did it work? This isn't how it wanted it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>